Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. My name is Ajay Kumar and in this video, I am going to deep dive into one specific question that has been posted on Power BI community. That is, what is non-Power BI item and how do I know if we have one? Wow, that was quite an interesting question that how do we know we have one? Well guys, to answer this question, you should first know what are the items that you have on Power BI or what are the features that you are being utilized for Microsoft Fabric. For example, this is my Power BI service portal where I also have Fabric Trial over here. If I'm not going to utilize this one or I'm not going to renew this one after, 2020, uh, after 22 days, then definitely I'm going to lose access of my Fabric items. What are Fabric items? First of all, you need to understand that one. That means whenever you come here, we have in Microsoft Fabric different experiences that we are utilizing over here. For example, data engineering, data warehouse, etc. But what happens when you create any of the fabric environment over here or let's say workspaces, then you also create certain other artifacts over here or the items. For example, if I'm come over here into data engineering or data warehouse workspace, you can see that I have over here the access to create this one. For example, either I can go with simple open or I can create any item over here, for example, warehouse or something like that. You can give it a name and you can create it over here. Power BI items are those items that are directly related to Microsoft Power BI and fabrics, which are which you are going to create any of the Microsoft Fabric experience, except Power BI. Power BI is also a part of Microsoft Fabric now. In order to bring your attention back to the question that what are Power BI related or non-Power BI items. Non-Power BI items would be your Excel files um, or maybe some text files or maybe the data that you have uploaded or the data warehouse that you have created etc. But that should be only related to Fabric. That should not be utilized as a part of Power BI. However, for example, you upload one Excel file and then you also create a report or dashboard on the top of that, then that would be part of your Power BI. That won't count as non-Power BI. So anything that is directly connected to Power BI experience, when you create a report, dashboard, paginated report, etc., that would be your Power BI related items. However, if you create a data warehouse, you create a data pipeline, you create a data flow gen 2, etc., and that you are not utilizing with your Microsoft Power BI, then that would be your non-Power BI item. For now, we don't have any API, etc. as of now that I can think of that is going to help you out to figure out which is Power BI, which is not Power BI item. However, at BI Consulting Pro, we are looking into this and we would try to find out if we can create a audit report or adoption report that can help us out to track what are going to be the Power BI related artifacts or the items or what are going to be fabric related. What you can do, you can also explore another way to do it which is going to be your audit report you can try to utilize the apis and if i'm just going to come here to type fabric apis then not just fabric microsoft fabric apis what you can do you can go through this documentation and then you can utilize these apis to detect the items that what are going to be the items that you can bring with the help of this. However, if you will see that there are different APIs for admin, etc., dashboard, data mart, etc., but probably you won't find it specific which can identify the items. But you can go there and you can check this item API. This item API can be very useful, which is going to be your Power BI API, and this is going to help you out to bring the items. So please go through that, have a look. It's still in preview, it's not finalized. That's why I'm saying we are still working on this one. But I hope now you are clear about what are going to be your non-Power BI items simply, which is not related to Power BI at all. But if you want to do it, that if you have an app or something, then you may have to wait a little bit longer to get your answer. Now, I'm sure you know what are non-Power BI items or what are Power BI items. If you still have any question or concern regarding this, then please let us know via comment section. Also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. If you like this video, please do share with your friends and colleagues. If you are looking for any training programs related to Microsoft Fabric, Microsoft Power BI, or any consulting services, please do reach out to us. Till then, keep learning and I'm going to see you in the next video.